Hello everyone. I'm going to show you the progress so far on uh, my second composite teardrop. I call it a foamy because it's full of foam inside. <laughs> At any rate, as you can see, I have all the straps on. I bought three bigger straps, wider ones, spread the uh, pressure over a better area. I also used some of the narrow straps to get a little more tightness in this area. You see the gap there, that'll be filled in with spray foam. And what I'm going to do now, since I put the last two pieces on yesterday afternoon, actually in the morning I put them on and let them dry since then. See the double layer here is simply to get a little pressure on the flat area. This forms the bottom of the trailer. What will be the floor. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and undo all the straps. So I'll go around the front and start loosening things off. Some of the areas I screwed uh, 
boards to the foam form just to keep it flat tight keep the styrofoam tight usually on the flatter areas of the trailer but also used a couple of boards here where the corners join together just make it e makes it easier to keep keep it flat and tight as I mentioned in a video previously, uh, foams are not all created equal. <laughs> they say one inch, they might be slightly less than an inch, or in this case, slightly wider than an inch, and they're not uniform either. So the fact that I have a little bit hanging out here doesn't really bother me. I'll just sand that down, taper it off, and the fiber the phylon will fit nice and tight still the phylon will give a little bit so it it's mostly not designed to be bent in multiple axes but a slight amount 16th to an inch, to an eighth an inch it'll conform to that bit of change but it would be nice if this was flush all the way around and all I'd have to do is a light sanding. Anyway, I'll take the boards off. Let's loosen them on. I can show you what I mean. See the slate lip here? That'll have to be sanded flush to the form. Other places, there it's perfect. There it's not perfect. This one, a little bit out. A few places where I'm going to fill with st with a uh, spray foam between these joints, this joint. And I'll take this board off later. I left it on most of the whole time I was gluing, just to keep the back of the trailer nice and flat. Another spot here that needs some spray foam. And also here where I decided to use some of the uh, styrofoam that was undersized because the sheets aren't nine feet long. At any rate, the next thing I'm going to do is, oh, I don't know where it is right now. I did buy a hot knife. here somewhere. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to do with the hot knife is I'm going to try to run most of the wiring for the trailer inside the foam just by cutting channels with the hot knife wherever they're needed. 
Uh, there's going to be three overhead light LED lights. You can see, you see them here. Also have some LED tail lights and some side marker lights. And also a LED, let's see if you can see it here. It's an LED tail light or a license plate light. And I got a long harness. You can see some of it stretched out on the floor. <coughs> but I try to make the wiring as nice and neat as I can. I didn't have a hot knife for the last one and I didn't really want to uh, weaken the structural, uh, <laughs> the structural strength of the trailer by slicing a bunch of lines in it in the foam with a saw. I think the hot knife will work quite well. And because this phylon is thicker, it's approximately 20% thicker than the, uh, the last one was made out of. You can see how easy that bends. Yeah. I guess I can show with my micrometer. Uh, this original white styrofoam I used on the previous trailer was 045 of an inch. This is about 063 of an inch. So probably about 20% stronger. If judging by thickness at any rate. So today I'll be busy with the hot knife and running wires. And then tomorrow I'll get ready to put the outer skin and complete the styrofoam sandwich. All right, thanks for watching.